Hi und willkommen bei Sarah's Music. Heute bin ich in Santiago de Chile, ganz schön weit weg. Der venezuelanische Dirigent Gustavo Dudamel hat mich hier eingeladen, um bei einem ganz besonderen Konzert mitzuspielen. Gustavo dirigiert ein Hommagekonzert für seinen Mentor und geliebte Maestro José Antonio Abreu. José Antonio Abreu ist in seiner Heimat Venezuela eine musikalische Legende. Er entwickelte das einzigartige Musikausbildungsprogramm El Sistema. Seit der Gründung sind durch El Sistema hunderttausende Kinder und Jugendliche, vor allem aus dem armen Viertel Venezuelas, ausgebildet worden. Das Programm wurde weltweit kopiert. Der Dirigent Gustavo Dudamel ist sein berühmtester Protégé und hat jetzt die musikalische Leitung von El Sistema übernommen. Maestro Abreu starb im März 2018 im Alter von 79 Jahren. Gustavo Dudamel ist hier in Santiago und arbeitet ganz eng zusammen mit dem Nationaljugendorchester de Chile. Das Orchester für das Hommagekonzert besteht aus Ihnen, aber auch noch dazu Musiker aus den Berliner Philharmonikern, Wiener Philharmonikern, Los Angeles Philharmonik, Göteborger Symphoniker und 20 Musiker aus dem Simon Bolivar Orchester in Venezuela sind auch angereist dafür. play the strings, eh, cuando tocamos las cuerdas, eh, todo eso. No está claro dónde está la corchea final. Está un poco, ah, whatever, ah, whatever, tira, tira, rin, tan, tin, tan, tan, tira, rin, pam, pam, tira, pira, pa, pa. Si es más precisa, podemos tocarlo, directo. ¿Qué número es? What is it like to be here in this orchestra with Gustavo, with all these players from Chile, from all over the world? Tocar acá es una experiencia maravillosa. O sea, esta oportunidad que nos dan a, a los músicos venezolanos de, de conocer y de este, formar parte de una orquesta donde somos de varios países, nos da la oportunidad de saber de distintas culturas y además aprender de otros músicos, de otras formas de tocar, otras formas de pensar y de verdad que es una, gran, es una experiencia grande de aprendizaje. It's a fantastic experience. It's like a big family already. It's a big family, and learning from Maestro Gustavo is an opportunity. But this is what Maestro Abreu wanted, that we musicians feel like a big family. Exactamente. O sea, el sueño del maestro Abreu siempre fue este, unirnos a todos a través de la música. Como dice el maestro Gustavo, la música rompe fronteras de todo tipo y por eso es que o sea, estamos aquí, compartimos y es como si todos fuésemos de un solo país o el país de la música, por, así, por decirlo de alguna forma. He was like a musical father for you all. Sí, por supuesto. Eh, él era una persona que era un gran gerente un gran bueno, economista político y bueno, gerente de la fundación, pero también era un gran músico y yo pudiera decir personalmente que él fue un mejor músico que todos los demás cargos que, lo, que, él, que él tuvo, fue de verdad, verdaderamente extraordinario y por supuesto para nosotros era una enseñanza diaria de música, era una clase magistral de música todos los días. Gaudi, you play trumpet since many years in Simon Bolivar, you grew up in El Sistema. What did Maestro Abreu mean for you young Venezuelan musicians? Yo creo que mi experiencia personal es el reflejo de cientos y miles de niños en todo el país. El sistema creado por el Maestro José Antonio eh, brinda la oportunidad de arte, de música, de belleza al más alto nivel en todos los rincones de Venezuela.
Gustavo, we're in Chile. Unbelievable. Yes, thank yes, you for yes. inviting me. No, please, thank you for being here. This is an incredible event. It's a chance to get together with friends and to share, you know, to share the beauty of music. You've chosen a program for tonight that are pr it's pretty good on the limit side. Yeah. They're huge pieces, <laughs> Beethoven 7 and Tchaikovsky 4. Yeah. You said they were your maestros, some of his favorite pieces. Absolutely, yes. But these are our favorite pieces also, you know. We, we love to do Beethoven 7. It's, it's, you know, it's a, uh, it's a young spirit music, also Tchaikovsky for. But I remember one of my first tours with the National Children Orchestra uh, conducting was Buenos Aires, Tchaikovsky 4. The first time that Maestro conducted me was Tchaikovsky 4. The first tour of the Bolivars in the 80s with Maestro Abreu in Teatro Colón with Tchaikovsky for. And last day, I, I remember, I was in London, I called a uh, maestro and I said, I, I, I have this feeling, I have to call him, I have to call him. I called, and then what he was listening? Tchaikovsky for. And I said, maestro I just did with the Vienna Philharmonic in Buenos Aires, and oh, you know that that is my favorite piece, he said. And he was laughing and he was, we were talking about everything. And then, well, a few days later, he, he took the train to, to, to the next step, yes, to heaven, but to the next step because he's here. He's more present than ever, you know. Every time that we play, every children that plays an instrument, this connection is made by him because he made me a conductor. He, he gave me the opportunity. I arrived to conduct in Berlin, in the different places. So we are connected because Maestro has the vision also. And all of this is him. I want that we remember Maestro Abreu, full of energy full of life. Maestro Abreu is young forever because he's in every child that has the chance to play an instrument. What will happen to all these fantastic children in this wonderful program in El Sistema? Mm -hmm. How is this being continued? Somebody asked him, um, when, in the future, if you are not here anymore, what, what is going to happen? See? And he said that the children, that was his answer. Then you understand the children, I said, crazy, what, how to say that? No, it's true, you know, because I'm music director of El Sistema, for example, but I was a child in El Sistema. I was one of the children. But it's not conducting your toys. Conducting my toys. <laughs> but at the same time, these children there, they will teach other children and they will keep that fire all the time alive because they know. It's part of the system, isn't it? That the children very quickly after learning an instrument, they have to teach Immediately, other children. They have to share. This moment that we are living just now, talking about the system and the future, is not only these two concerts. This experience will stay in their life forever. And they will tell to their pupils, and the pupils will tell to the pupils. So we cannot imagine how far this, this message will arrive, because that is the system. The system is spread, embracing more and more and more people. I have to ask the question which everyone wants to know, why are we doing the memorial concert here in Chile and not in Venezuela? Because El Sistema is every, everywhere, you know? It means that El Sistema is a Venezuelan project, but now it's a spread around the world. We will play all the time homage to maestros, to maestro in Venezuela, but it means a lot that we are here in Chile, where Maestro was so connected. And, and I'm sure this is not the only one. We will keep doing all of this around the world because this is El Sistema. Sistema was born in Venezuela and is spread around the world. Das war's von Sarah's Music. Wir freuen uns auf das Konzert. Wir werden für Maestro Abreu spielen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Adios aus Santiago. Tschüss. Adios.